Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation. Ooh, my hip still hurts a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and then I get something in the mail yesterday. Do something real quick. Um, something out of my bra. Um, like when I was five years old. I had rheumatic fever. Okay, so it's like I'm reading up on rheumatic fever. Um, and come to find out it's very rare to have rheumatic fever. Okay. And so I'm reading, I'm reading in this, right? Like, you guys don't need to know a whole lot of info here. So it's like um yeah, you, you guys don't need to know. There, there's my ethnicity. There's my ethnicity. There you go. Um, no, that really is my ethnicity. Um, but reading in here um, a lot of stuff that I've been diagnosed with is very concerning, okay, is very, very, very concerning, um, migraine without aura but that goes with the um, rheumatic fever um, chronic daily headaches which goes with the rheumatic fever and the epilepsy um the epilepsy, which is caused by the rheumatic fever, so I find out um, there's not a there's not a lot of studies done on rheumatic fever um, because it. The first studies actually came out on rheumatic fever, and this is why I have to wear glasses and go see a cardiologist. Was their first studies on that was uh, it affects the eyes and the heart. Okay. And the joints, of course. So, um, and also I have fibroid myalgia. So, um, low back pain, lumbar spondylitis, which of course is deterioration of the disc. I'm missing my L5, my L4, my S1. Can't get that back. Um, Hip pain. Of course I have hip pain. I'm missing parts of my spine. Uh. Let's see. Of course I have ankle pain. But I have to question, like, my neurologist sometimes. I, I have to question her sometimes. She's, like, putting stuff down that actually isn't true. I'm under uh, doctor's orders for my primary to work out, but I can't really work out. 
You guys have probably noticed my weight fluctuate. Okay. I have thyroid disorder, but she forgot to put this down. Um, she did. She forgot to put that down. Um, like, oopsies. But, like, she told me I can't have specific thing, but forgets that she tried to prescribe me something that does the same exact thing and that is the same exact thing as the thing she told me that I can't have. Where does that make sense? I say it's time to get a new doctor. She said failed ibuprofen has not started. No, failed ibuprofen, no. She took me off the ibuprofen. She took me off the ibuprofen. I did not fail the ibuprofen. She took me off the ibuprofen. She can't say that I failed it. Shame on her. <sighs> has not started home exercise or PT at this point in time. Um, not true. Um, I was doing stretches. You know, just the stretches. If you do stretches to your ability, ow. See, like, that hurts. I have joint pain. Who doesn't have joint pain? At some point, you have joint pain. Okay. And I have, like, I have a spot in my back that needs to crack today, but it won't do that. And she's putting stuff down. ankle pain. Right ankle pain. Ice down in. Oh, jeez. Rheumatic fever. Records from cardiology. Of course. Chronic pain syndrome. Of course. These are all things that she's had. Brought to her. And, like, she swears she doesn't have it. And, but yet, I've brought everything to her. Sometimes, I think that it's sad when the patient knows more than the doctor. And I think it's sad when um, it's really sad when your neurologist doesn't pay attention. Doesn't pay attention. That doctor is only there for their paycheck but not to take care of your health. And that's sad when a doctor is all about the money but not about your health. And it's really sad when they've taken you off of something that your other doctor told you you should take. Okay without consulting with your other doctor first. Well, well, well. 
who here does not think that that's messed up and sad? I, I think that's messed up and sad. I really do. I think that's messed up and sad. Um, I, you know, she wanted me to make some weird maneuver to show her my foot. And I'm like, you know what? I can't move like that. Let me put the device on the floor so that you can see better. Does that not make sense? And she's like, oh. Oh, um, sure. I think doing all these video doctor visits, this is ridiculous. You cannot tell what's really going on with a person unless you see them face to face, like in person, in the same room, physically, being able to physically be like right there in the physical same room. And then while you're at it, try paying attention. Try actually paying attention. Um, the other day, my friend, he saw me have too many seizures at the kitchen table to the point it threw my hip out. But, you know, hey, she wants to, you know, put that down. How about if I have him tell her what I experienced? And I may just have him do that to put her in her damn place. Because this is BS to the max. Um, I've just about had enough of it. To the point she may get replaced with a different neurologist. How about that? And I don't care if I do have to go somewhere else to a different neurologist. I'll be damned if I put up with someone that's only thinking about themselves and their damn paycheck. If you can't think of somebody's health that worked for 25 years before, before going out on a limb and then getting injured before that person could almost make it to boot camp. That's right. You should be ashamed of yourself because that was me. That person was me. I was that person that worked for 25 years became a recruit and they got injured before boot camp and now gets treated like crap. I get looked down on. People think I'm stupid. A lot of people think I'm stupid. And I had to correct her on a few things. And I'm like, excuse you. Like, I did not pass aerospace engineering for the Army for nothing. She's like, what? Don't talk down to me. You will talk to me. But never talk down to me. I don't tolerate that. That is rude. Maybe I still have some army left in me, but that is just 
rude. Now, if I had known that I still had rheumatic fever, hey, I never knew this. I never knew this, that I still had rheumatic fever. And I didn't know the rarity of it. No one, while I was growing up, was willing to open up their mouth and tell me anything. And you know why? Because... I wasn't that person's child. And they won't tell me where in the hell they got me from. And they should start speaking because now this crap is gonna land me back in a wheelchair that I've been out of for 11 years, that I was in for five years. I was in that wheelchair for five years. I've been out of it for 11. And now, and I'm not a depressed person. I'll sit at my damn sewing machine, fix it so that I can use one of my two feet or my knee, sit at my sewing machine and keep on sewing. You damn skippy. Nothing's gonna keep me from making clothes right as long as I can use a foot my right foot hurts I don't care I don't care as long as I can keep sewing some people got nasty with me last year but I'll tell you what you want my rheumatic fever have it have it good At least I didn't block you. At least I'm nice enough. I did not block you. But I'm dealing with rheumatic fever. Somebody, like, somebody's half-ass study is saying it has to do with strep throat. (laughs) No, it does not have anything to do. (laughs) Hey, Mayo Clinic, maybe you need to go a little lighter on your mayo. (laughs) Oh. (sighs) And a little more on the medical. Studies, that is. Oh my gosh, like, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, maybe that's what that stuff was they took out of my leg that year and they couldn't identify the liquid. It was like, my leg was this huge. Maybe it was rheumatic fever, but they couldn't identify the liquid in my leg. (laughs) Think about that. I'm dealing with this stuff, right? But I don't let it stop. I I see so many people just like gripe about stuff. Oh, I have this chronic this and this chronic that. That it makes me so depressed. You make yourself depressed, sweeties. Don't. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. (laughs) It's a. That's exactly what it is. It's a mindset. You make yourself that way. And in order, in order to take yourself out of that, you have to make yourself healthy up here. 
in order to let everything else go. But think about that. Five years old, I was in a wheelchair. I had to take, and that was so nasty to take, tablespoons of penicillin, liquid penicillin, okay, which I'm allergic to now. Um, <sighs> and, uh, Oh, by the way, I'm going to redo that painting. I painted over it. Don't be mad at me. Don't don't be mad at me. I'm going to redo that painting. Um, <laughs> and I'll show you that in a different video. Um, I just didn't like how it turned out. But uh, I know a lot of you did, but I just wasn't feeling it. So I put black over it and and just like let that dry for a few days and then I, I plan on redoing that maybe later today we'll redo that um if I feel up to it um uh, but you know like I said I think it's a mental mind set for the amount of how you let things get to you when you have chronic illness. That's just my thought. I'm not bashing on nobody. Absolutely not. Everybody has different chronic illnesses. But I'm dealing with a rare one. I'm dealing with a rare chronic illness. It's not contagious. Um, can it be passed down to my children and my grandchildren? Absolutely. Now, I have one grandbaby with epilepsy, but my son won't let me see my kids so that now I, you know, he won't, he won't listen to me have that kid checked for rheumatic fever. And there you go. Have that kid checked for rheumatic fever. Nine times out of ten, that's what the kid has. And... <sighs> There's only specific ethnicities that get rheumatic fever more than others. And I fit the bill for the ethnicity range of people that get the rheumatic fever because of my blood mix of Native American and Black. So, yeah. Anyway, I thought I heard the idiot neighbor out on his lawnmower again. Dude needs to stay off our lawn. Oh, annoyance. So... But yeah, I'm gonna go sit on the other stuff. It's a little more comfortable for me. It is, it's a little more comfortable. So. And that's also why it hurts to walk. Rheumatic fever hurts your joints. And uh, 
the studies of that. There just is not enough true studies of hermetic fever. So, yeah. And just to know that. And just to know that there's actually somebody on here. I'm sure there's a few other people. They just haven't come forward. I haven't used the good molecules under my eyes today, you can tell. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, a few things listed, like the uncontrollable twitching of my legs is rheumatic fever. And I can't help that. And I get uncontrollable twitching in my legs. And um, I was put on potassium and water pills to try to help that. And it doesn't help. No, it doesn't help. It was nice of my primary to think about that. Now, see, he's on the ball of trying to think about what will help. And uh, he actually pays attention. He will stay in the room and pay attention to what I have to say. Now it's the neighbors across the street. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's just, um, when you find out that you have a rare condition and, uh, <laughs> I remember when I have my cardiology appointment. I think that's next month. Yeah, next month. It's either next month or July when I have my cardiology again. Um, and then we'll probably address the rheumatic fever. Oh, that's just some art supplies right there. Oh, and a box of rice checks. I munch on that sometimes. I try to take care of my health, you know? Um, and that has rice instead of wheat. Um, so see, I try to take care of my health. Um, so, oh, and I was watching Morgan Donner earlier. I still have this dress on my dress form, and I'm just gonna, like, take apart the, um, the waist area and then add in a waistband and then like yeah I'm gonna do that I've lost so much weight I gotta take it in anyway so but uh, yeah I would never wish rheumatic fever on anyone because it's not pleasant to deal with. Uh, neighbors acting weird. Um, I'd like to know when the dude isn't. <laughs> he was peeking through my bedroom window yesterday while I was changing my clothes, a creeper. Um, yeah, what a creep. Um, and then, like I said, you guys always see my weight fluctuate, right? Well, that's my thyroid. And then come to find out, you know, it's like, uh, rheumatic fever also, um, and this is also why I have epilepsy. Rheumatic fever actually uh, destroys a lot of things in the body. And um, it can cause you to have fibroid malgia. And uh, like I said, epilepsy. This, um, fortunately, this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. Um, thyroid disorder. 
Unfortunately, I don't know my real parents. Like I said, if I did, I would be able to trace this back. But it goes to a minority of people. And it's just it's it's unfortunate it's just really unfortunate that there wasn't more studies done on rheumatic fever um it's unfortunate and i really wish that that shriners and i may check with shriners because i was a shriners kid I may actually... I know a Shriner. Ooh. I may check with him. See if he may know something for me. I do. I know a Shriner. Um, and see if he can get some study info for me about rheumatic fever. Um, from Shriner's Hospital. He should be able to pull that for me. He is of the brotherhood. Um, the same brotherhood I am. The same brotherhood. <laughs> Sorry about that. My laundry sitting over there too. Wait to be able to wash my laundry. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> How do I feel about all this? Um, I'm processing it. I'm processing it. Absolutely. Oh, don't mind that. Uh, that, that was from food shopping. Uh, I haven't ran out of food. Crap, we haven't ran out of food. We haven't ran out of toilet paper. You don't have to wear a face mask to go outside. Um, people are going back to work. School's about to start up again in school. They are have to homeschool for now, but schools are starting to go back in session soon. I think like by the end of the week or somewhere in the week, kids will be getting back on the bus. Cause the wheels on the bus go ran and ran, ran and ran. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh, and Rich Lux said that malls are open in Texas. Uh, Jeffrey Star said some malls are open in uh, California. Um. He's putting, yeah, uh, Jeffree Star is actually putting a lot of people back to work, you know, um, staffing in his warehouses on Monday. <laughs> he has some people already back to work, but on Monday he's putting more people back to work. See, like, y'all really got to pay attention. Like, why should Char know more than you? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just saying, why should I know? I pay attention, pay attention. I'm not trying to be mad at people, but come on. Pay attention. Like, oh, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, like, pay attention. And I really do know people that live in California. And... <laughs> They're not having to wear a face mask to go outside. Ooh, that just irritates Jesus out of your bungle. Because I really do know people that live in California and they don't have to wear a face mask to go outside and breathe some friggin' air. And they're not getting arrested for it. And they're not getting a fine for it. 
that's not how California is being, you know, like, run right now. They're like, you want to give me a ticket? Give me a ticket. I can care less. It's free air. Air is free. So, yeah. <sighs> yep, pretty much. So, anyway, guys, like I said, it's a very rare disorder to have. My cardiologist knows that I have rheumatic fever. Okay. And my neurologist, <laughs> I don't know how she's trying to discharge things. Like, how can you, like, treat and discharge? Like, you cannot discharge that. You cannot discard that. Or you will be fired as a doctor. Um... Absolutely, you will be fired as a doctor because I have all my stuff from my other doctors that I had when I lived in PA to back up me. I have things on disk drive, medical records on disk drive. Shar's not stupid. Char is not stupid. The backup me. So she needs to be careful of her claims. Because you can't just say something harmful towards your patient. Make some nasty claim. And try to say, you know, diagnose and discharge. Um, <laughs> sorry, sweetie, it doesn't work that way. Um, but... It, it just... Doesn't work that way. It's not how it works. I don't know who paid her, but that's not how the system works. Sorry, but that's just not how it works. How it does work is you lose your license to practice because you're not paying attention. Because you're not paying attention. And her nurses do remember me bringing in paper files. And they do remember taking copies. Where did those copies go? Whoops. Did she really open that up and look at that while we were on video call? I'm not too sure she did. I am not too sure that she did. Um, otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, you know. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I gotta go because I gotta go, you know. <laughs> we can't
take you there with me. <laughs> so stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay positive. Because that helps with everything else in life. Um, positivity absolutely does. And as always, stay blessed. Because every day in our life can always be different. And um, one of my things that um, I would love to do sometime is, uh, it's on my bucket list, is to one day, I'm going to cry. I want to go to the K River campground. And I want to meet Miss Ashley, Miss Cheryl, Grumpy Old Daryl, <laughs> Grumpy Old Daryl, <laughs> and Adam Sandoval. Um, Before I'm back in a wheelchair. I'll see you guys later.